Hey guys, how you doing? This is Ty with ServiceGab.com. Um, hey, I just wanted to go over real quick um, basic dark posts um, uh, and and how they're used, why they're used, um, how they can help you. Um, first things first, when you do dark posts, you're gonna have to build them in the Power Editor. Um, download Google Chrome because Power Editor only works in Google Chrome. Um, but you're going to want to get that put together. Um, why is it running slow? There it is. Okay, and then the uh, first thing you want to do is download your Power Editor, um, your account, continue. All right, so you're going to want to, let's go over why, why you use um, the Power Editor, why you use Dark Posts. Um, so dark post is basically it, it's kind of like a Google AdWords type deal, except for it's not like search specific. Um, you can put together an ad and run it in your in your feed or in in potential client feed um, by targeting an audience you want, and it's only going to show up to that targeted audience. Uh, it eliminates you spamming your own page with. You know, if, if you're wanting to run a bunch of specials or something, sometimes clients might unfollow you or unlike your page or something if you're too spammy. Um, I like to use my Facebook page to stay in contact with clients, um, do giveaways, uh, just share community events. I'll run specials on there here and there, but the majority of the deals that I run are through dark posts because it's, it's more of a targeted deal. You're not targeting... Um, it's just not blowing up your your audience's feed. Um, now some of them will see it just because they're in your targeted audience and they'll see it, which is cool because some of them, you know, they'll post on there. Oh, we use these guys all the time. It's it, it helps. Um, but for basics, I mean, this that's what a, a dark post is. It doesn't show up on your news feed or on your business page. Um, so if somebody sees your ad, they click on your ad, it's going to take them to your, to your page, and they, they won't see that specific post on your page. But it'll create traffic, it'll get you leads, you'll have people messaging, commenting. Um, so that's that. Uh, some basic stuff on your ads, just so you can kind of understand these numbers and, and all of these, uh, everything that's going on up here. Uh, your reach, that's how many people have been reached by your ad. Um, the ad impressions is how many times those people that have been reached have seen the ad or how many times the ad was shown to the reached people. So this one here, you can see uh, 23,000 ad impressions. That means it hit 23,000, hit this 15,000, it'll be like 1.3 times or something. Um, you can see that number, They're, they do show you that number. Um, I believe it's in your ad sets. Um, anyway, um, so this will give you the basic post engagement. You had, uh, we had 969 post engagement, the cost per engagement. It'll break that down for you. Again, your reach, your impressions, your clicks, how many ad clicks you got. Uh, CPM is how many, um, that's your cost per 1000 impressions. Um, so it's not per thousand reached, it's per impression. So it could have only reached 500 people two times, but that's what your uh, CPM is. It's how much it costs you to show it a thousand times. Uh, cost per click is how much it costs you to get these clicks. So if you multiply that times how many clicks I got, it'll give you your total how much you spent. Like I spent 139.84. Um, it breaks it down everything everything that you need to know um, and when you're running these dark posts I'd recommend running them for a week and then kind of going back and hitting hitting the ads and, and looking at all your analytics on the ad um, if it's doing very poor I, I think a good click-through rate is two percent or, or higher uh, this one did un unusually well but it was just a it was a good dirty carpet picture some people like I don't know why those things get a lot of hits but uh, stay on top of it um, if, if, if you gotta take a look and see what it's doing and then run some other variations of the same ad you can change your target maybe you're targeting the wrong people you can change the headlines and use the same ads you can change the ad itself you can change the picture um, another thing you're gonna want to do is go to this website here um, 
this John Loomer. Now, I always just go to Google search Facebook image and ad sizes, and it'll find this. But these, you really want to size your ads, your image ads correctly. And keep in mind, Facebook will not allow you anything over 20% uh, text on your picture part. Um, it'll get flagged off of there. Don't want to do that. So get these right, because if uh, you don't get these right, it'll cut off images, part of your image. It'll cut off some of your text. It just gets warped weird. People don't want to see that if you put together a good ad and it's sized right, and it, it, um, it'll put it on, on the news feed correctly. Uh, that's what you want. Um, I'll put this in the description too so you guys have that. Um, go back to here. So what we're going to do, we're going to put together a quick ad. Uh, kind of went over why we do them this way. Um, I use them in conjunction with boosted posts. Don't, don't, don't think you shouldn't be boosting posts. Boost posts work great. Um, and it'll boost it. You can choose through the boost. You can target the audience. I know I've talked to a lot of people that have had some issues with their uh, targeting, which I'm going to go over on the targeting section here when we put this ad together. Um, I'm just going to put together a sample ad. Anyways, you're going to want to go, this is this is the easiest way I've found to do it. Um, go to your page posts. Um, I don't know why it's taking so long to load today, but... So go here, and we're going to create post, okay? Now, if, if you start getting more and more into it, you can build specific landing pages for these. Um, and you can, this URL code right here, this is the exact URL that they're going to be sent to when you when they click this. I like to do the learn more. Um, but anyways, we'll just put my website here, abc.com, post text. Uh, you can put quite a bit in your post text, put all your details, whatever it is. I'm just going to put this for now. Um, so we click learn more, it's going to click through, and it's going to go to that URL. Now you can put a uh, display link, which is what it's going to show, but this is where it actually sends them. So headlines always important. Put a good headline, and I always capitalize the first. Just uh, it's a headline. Cool. And then put again your display link, and then your description. You're going to put a description of your ad, whatever your details. Um, but make it good because this shows right under the the headline. It gives a good little snapshot of this. So make it good. I'm just going to put this. Okay. Um, and then for the uploaded image. Now you can get with your designer, have them design it, whatever. But make sure, again, it's the same size that they call for on these for it to be um, put up right here. And then I'll just... Uh, I'll just, uh, we'll go, we're going to go here, here's one that I had made, proper sizing, um, and then you'll see here this post will only be used as an ad, that means it's going to be an unpublished post or a dark post, it's what they call them, so you're going to create the post, okay, it's going to be created on the page right now, but it's it's not running, there's no, we haven't published it, it's, it's an unpublished post right now. So we're going to go back to the manage ads and we're going to create a campaign. Um, we're going to hit test and create. Now you can add, you just name them whatever you want to do to keep track of them. Um, like if, if you're doing city specific, do like surprise and then on the ad set is where you're going to be uh, targeting your audience. So you could run the same campaign name and run multiple ad sets under it to where you're targeting, maybe it's females, maybe it's males, maybe it's females under 30, maybe another one's going to be females over 30. But you can test those against each other and see which ones are working best for you. The more you test, you the more refined it can get. Um, so anyways, I don't mess with anything on the campaign. Um, I just set it up. The objective, click to websites, auction style. Um, now I'm going to create the ad set. So you're going to throw together, um, we'll go test again. Now you, you're going to see that there's a new Instagram placement deal. I'll show you how to get rid of that here. Unless you do want to run um, Instagram, I haven't really gotten into that just yet. But for the purpose of this, I'll show you how to take it off when you're done. So we're going to create that. 
now it's going to bring up how we can target. Um, it's going to bring up that section here. So let's just do the daily budget. You can set a lifetime budget of the ad, which is cool, but I kind of like doing the daily budget. Um, and you can turn them off and on real easy. That's the cool thing with Facebook. Just say five bucks a day. Um, five bucks a day is going to get you more than enough results so that you can kind of start getting the hang of it. Um, don't, don't do any kind of scheduling. It'll just start as soon as it's approved. Um, and you can get very detailed in your ad scheduling if you wanted to run it on a schedule. Um, there's no, I don't like doing it that way, but you can. And if you go to your, uh, your insights on your page, it'll tell you, you can find out when the most action is the most time or what time of the day your ads are viewed most. And you can only run them on those times. So you're not going to max out your budget as easy, you, just more efficient use of your budget. Um, this is just how I like doing them though. Um, so it's just going to run. This is the important part right here. Um, your audience. So we're going to edit audience. It always starts with the default of the United States. You're going to want to take that off. Make sure that you take that off because that's where a lot of people waste a lot of budget. When you target the whole U.S., your ads are being shown everywhere to the demographic that you choose. So make sure we're going to say uh, surprise. I'll show you a couple ways of doing it. Say surprise. All right. Oh, I didn't want that. Surprise, Nebraska. Surprise. Arizona. Okay, now you can change the radius, um, or you can do no radius and it'll just target the town. Another cool thing is to drop the pin. You can just drop the pin and then you can create a custom, do the custom, and do like a, let's just say five mile radius around that pin, and then hit enter. Okay, and then say you wanted to drop another one, say right here. It's going to drop another one, and you can, again, you can go any kind of radius you want. If you wanted to just go three-mile radius, we'll just do that. Um, so you can really target neighborhoods. You can get really specific with it. You can see up here your potential reach. That's telling you how many potential people are in your targeted area. Um, and every time you mess with something here, it's going to change that. So now it went down to 91,000. So keep that in mind when you're changing this. You can get more and more detailed. Your budget will be spent a lot more efficiently, but you're only going to be seen by a smaller number of people, which is sometimes good and sometimes bad, depending on what kind of campaign you're wanting to run. So just keep that in mind that that is always changing every time you change something in your demographics. Let's just go 28 to 65 women on this one. Again, here you can get all kinds of crazy with your demographics. Um, you can find dog lovers, you can find golf lovers, you can find anything really. I mean, Facebook knows a lot about your potential clients. So just keep that in mind. You can get very detailed. This is just going to be a kind of a vague one, but it's women 28 to 65 plus. Um, let's just go with that. I know that that's a good, that's good for my page. Um, so that's, that's thrown up. Um, now placement. This is where it's going to be seen. Uncheck the Instagram unless you're doing Instagram. Um, you got to have your account connected to it, but take that off. This will show our ad in the right column, the desktop, the audience networks, and the mobile feed. We're, we're good with that. You, you can get pretty crazy with all this. Really, their um, default settings are good for running a basic dark post. Um, and, and you'll learn more and more as you're doing it, so you can refine it and get better. Now you're going to go and hit create ad. Now we've already created that ad. I'm just going to show you how to attach that ad here. You're going to create that. So now we have the test campaign, the test ad set. And now we're going to choose the page that you're working on. Um, and you're going to hit this instead of building a new ad here, which you could we're going to use the existing post because it was just easier to follow when you did it on the page post. So it's going to say select a post. We're going to hit this test one we just put together. It's going to show you what it looks like. So again, there is your headline, there's a description, and then there's the post text. But put a good uh, description and a good headline because that's what people see right away. Um, and then when they click there, it's going to take them to that page you connected to. 
So that's how it looks. Everything looks good. You know you got everything set. We're going to go up and we're going to hit upload changes. Hit continue. It's going to go through and tell you everything's uploaded. Your, your new campaign, your ad set, and your ad is all uploaded. It's all complete. Hit done. 15, 20 minutes you're going to get a notification that your ad was approved as long as it was within Facebook's guidelines. You should be good to go. And again, like I said, the 20% text rule. There's another site that you can just, if you put the 20% text rule in Google, in Google it'll, uh, it'll show you a little link where you can upload your image and you can put blocks on there. It'll tell you if it passes or not. Um, that's, that's the basics. I hope that, uh, hope that helps everybody. If you have any questions, just let us know. We'll, uh, try and get them answered. Um, but again, this was just a basic dark post, unpublished post, um, tutorial, if you will. All right. Thanks guys.